Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Honda CRV Touring. Now the most notable features on this Touring is its power moonroof. You have your navigation system along with your heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Honda CRV Touring. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Touring is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a look down below you have your block heater. Up top you see your hood deflector and over on the side you have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors. Up top you'll see your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. As you can see up top here, this is part of your lane watch which I will show you later on here. You have your eco on, lane departure alert, trunk release, traction control on and off and window wiper de-icer. You have your seat memory controls for your driver one and two, mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, source, as well as your seek function, menu, Bluetooth with the voice recognition. Over on your right you'll see your cruise control settings as well as your scroll function for your multi-informational display. You do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your phone on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So as you can see, it does have an exterior temperature gauge on here, but you can also scroll through and see your fuel economy on here, your range, and a couple of other additional features as well. Now, taking a look at the center dash here, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So scrolling through the menu screen, you have your audio as well as a couple of other additional features with your date and time. And down below you have your hazard lights, you have your navigation system in here, and inside your home screen you'll find your phone info as well as your settings menu. Now you do have the dual zone climate control settings along with it matted to a automatic transmission with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. You have the power outlet on here as well. And if we take a look just at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror along with the open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof and a sunglass case holder. Now I'm just gonna throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the back of camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Now you can also change up the backup camera view as well. And then when I'm in park, and I actually hit that button that's just located on the inside here. This is part of the, the lane watch feature which makes things a little bit easier for you especially when um, you need to see if there's anything in the adjacent lane right beside you there. Now this feature also works when you actually turn on your turn signal. That way it can show you if there's any obstructions in your, in your way just when you're trying to change lanes on the highway. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you'll see your backup camera just underneath your Honda emblem. And down below, you'll find your rear hatch release. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have the carbon cover in the back, which is nice because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place, just so people can't see what you have in the back. If you need more additional room, you can actually fold down that rear seat by pulling on one of the two tabs that you see on either side there. If we take a look underneath the floor, you're going to find your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. If you need that cargo space folded down right away, you can actually pull on one of the two handles that you see on either side here. So just to demonstrate here, sorry about that folks, just to demonstrate here, just pull on the handle here fold down for you automatically making things a lot easier for you and taking a look at the top here all you have to do is just push on the button once and it will close for you automatically making things a lot easier for you especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids sports bags thank you so much folks for watching this video today if you have any questions please visit us we're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park Alberta Canada 
phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.